where you went and I, John J. Belmonte, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Deputy Treasurer of Sable Public Schools according to the best of my ability. On the agenda tonight is item six. <coughs> six. Meeting dates? Is that one? Yes. Establishment. Of, yes, yes, that's what you're asking. We're going to schedule our meeting dates. I think there's a attachment. Uh, well, this, this is business. just a, yeah, this is a, um, just the resolution that, what do we have on meetings? Okay, just a resolution. I need that. I need more. I, mean, I don't have done this before. I'm not sure. <laughs> need a motion? Or, motion, please. All those in favor? I need a motion on Okay. I'm sure they're going to enjoy that when they get here. 
<laughs> okay, uh, continue the business meeting. I have correspondence. I have a, a, a letter from Refit requesting our membership. And I have a letter from uh, BOSIS Highlights. And tonight we have we'll also have a presentation. Uh, you, Mr. Belmonte? This is? By Mr. Belmonte. Okay, thank you. Um, I believe we have Mr. John Moore yeah. in the audience. Please come on up. Every year, bus drivers compete in various uh, bus rodeo competitions. And the competitions start out on the local level, and then they go to a state level, and then they go to a national level. Um, usually the people that compete in these competitions are the best of the best throughout the state of all bus drivers. And they demonstrate what matters most to all of us, and that's ensuring and putting the safety of our students first. So tonight, we're very proud to recognize one of our very own, Mr. John Moore, who is one of our van drivers from Suffolk Transportation. And John has achieved the following accomplishments. He has finished second place in the Suffolk County NIAP Bus Driver Rodeo, which was a competition of over 30 drivers in Suffolk County which enabled him to complete, compete in the New York State Bus Contractors uh, competition, which was a statewide competition, in which John took first place. And as a result of achieving first place in the bus rodeo, um, John is going to be going on July 18th to Minneapolis to compete at the national level in the competition with about 50 bus drivers from across the nation. And this is the second time that John has achieved this accomplishment. Third time, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so John, it's with great pleasure that we congratulate you this evening for your notable accomplishments. And more importantly, we thank you for ensuring the safety of Sable students each and every day that they are entrusted to you. Congratulations. We do, have a, uh, we do have a little citation for John, and it is with great pleasure that we recognize John Moore of Suffolk Transportation and one of Sable Public Schools bus drivers for many years who, have, who has won first place in the small bus van division of the New York State Bus Driver Rodeo Competition. We thank Mr. Moore for his many years of service and accomplishments in promoting bus driver safety for our Sable community. John, once again, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda tonight is uh, Superintendent's report, uh, Dr. Schreiber. Thank you, Mr. Patel. Uh, start off with the graduation, uh, which I thought uh, went extremely well. Our students were very well behaved, and uh, a group of, of students. Um, the weather held out for us. Cooley got his traditional swing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it was just a, a wonderful morning, a wonderful Saturday morning. I don't know if anybody has anything to add to that. I have, I have to, probably one of the best graduations I've been to. We've had for it. It was great. It was short, it was nice. It was just one of the, one of the best ones I've ever seen. Senator Schumer. Senator 
attachment of the actual dates of the Board of Education meeting, even though we generally have the first Thursday as a workshop and second Thursday as a business meeting. It doesn't always work that way. Um, for instance, August 27th is uh, obviously not the second Thursday, but it's a business meeting. In September, it's the 10th and 17th, so it's the second and third. Down in, in April, we have the 13th, which is a Wednesday, which corresponds with the uh, BOCES vote. And the 21st, obviously, is not the, uh, it's the third Thursday. And then in May, we always have the first Thursday as business, and then the May 10th is the uh, budget hearing slash workshop. So if there are a few adjustments, but all in all. What were the adjustments? The BOCES The BOCES vote, so we didn't have to have two board meetings. Okay. The uh, 10th and the 17th, because we didn't want to have it that close to Labor Day. 27th is when the administrators are back, and that's when we have a, the, uh, a dinner with the administrators. The 29th, by the way, is a sh hopefully a short meeting just for um, personnel and for special education. I would even make a recommendation to the board not to have any public session that night, just to go through those items, spend a half an hour to do that. What date is that? That's uh, Wednesday, July 29th. Yes. That's just so. We generally have some left, leftover personnel that we need to uh, get on board for the beginning of the year. That's very short. Yes. I have any business items coming right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> we won't leave you out, John. I thought maybe there were some contracts. <laughs> yeah, well, normally we don't have any.
So I'll offer that as some some background information. In, in the past, I've uh, asked Mrs. Lepore to send people that uh, can park across by the large uh, commuter lot. Plenty of space there during the day, and it's a short walk. Uh, and encourage people to go there and, and hopefully leave some and room exactly over here. The, 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 the only time we had a lot of people in the lot on this side was when we had the game. That was the only time we had people in the lot on this side when we had the game. A lot of it's during the day, and you have the uh, mostly staff parking there. That's more of an issue. <laughs> yeah, but how many spots would we look at? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't. How big are you? From what I understand, they would like to um, take the grassy area that's in between the Avenue yeah, building and the church and pave that. And I'm assuming they may want to make a uh, wrap around to the existing administrative block the line on the other so. side because I don't see how you would get um, you know, out of the parking lot and have the necessary egress. Now, the other thing that we did discuss that I failed to mention with the board back at the time with the library is we were very concerned in the community expressing concern about the amount of blacktop mm -hmm. that we were that they we want agree to doing it. here with the buildings. We do have a lot of building space and a lot of blacktop already. Um, you know, that's a very little piece of green that we really have left in the buildings um, besides our fields. So. Uh, you know, that was my concern when this came up and they, it was the normal black top it was just going to be one Big tall black area, area, black area. I, I mean, the only thing I can say is, is this a community uh, shared uh, function for the library? Um, if we can find a way that, that, that is helpful, that it's helpful to the community. Can I just say, Tom, what I have gone to the library and the parking was tight, and I could have parked in here, but I chose to park in the, the parking lot, that community parking lot, and it is not a far walk. So I think there is parking available. It just might not be as convenient well, for the it's, employees as they would like it. Before we say no, we should at least see a, a, you know, a, a plan of what they want to do. Second. See how much space it's taking up. Because again, I, I feel if it makes it more convenient for the community to use the library, what, what's wrong with that? And secondly, for us to pay half of it? Thank you. Uh, no, that's good. It still has to pay for it in a way. Yeah, one of the times. We told them for six months or more. They want it because of the lack of staff. What did you say, Debbie? What did you say there? Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. The door situation is not going to solve the parking issue. They, they want to increase the parking in the back. So either way. Yeah. So well, at least at least they we could let's see if they can park on it could be reconfigured to get more cars in. I mean, is, is that possible? Have we looked at that? Are you just yes? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, we we looked at it. It's not visible. Not visible. What is her concern? Yeah, the back of space. We did. Keep in mind. You know, when we did all this, one of the things we did is we put the bus loop with the parking in front of Green Avenue School. So we added, um, I forget exactly the number of spaces, maybe 48, 49 parking spaces in front of Green Avenue for the Losey staff. But again, I remind everybody this is for community. It's not for, yeah, you know, yeah, it is for the community. Yeah, well, that's a reason. No, we should get out of also the more I don't know. Well, we, we already went through this talk. No, I was here. Yeah, I, I went through this already. Yeah. So we're going to go yeah. through it again. Well, this well, it too, but the thing that we agreed was they had a historical period back there. We want cars, but we don't know. Against that old we don't know. Period. That's what I'm going to say. We need to know what they do. We need to know what the cost is. Dr. Charter, because she uh, expressed uh, why she does not like that. Can we do it from the front She feels it's too far. But it's up, it is a long we're back in the same predicament why we were in the first place. Granted, when they were at the old facility, they had virtually no patrons. 
agents? No, I, just, I wouldn't eliminate the, the possible. I would like to see what their proposal is and how, how many spots do they need? How many spots for that area created? We decided to pay all the remaining green. I didn't see any plan. I know she just reached out to Dr. Shaw to ask the question. Do you want uh, me to request that uh, I would like to she present yeah. at, at the uh, August 27th meeting? Or she could submit a proposal. Uh, no, I'm very. What? Yeah. Submit a proposal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A design for what she's talking about. Something no on April. Okay. Because then a lot of these questions will be answered. Be addressed. Then we can go to the next step with you to say that, you know, funding or whatever. Okay. Once again, the Board of Education meeting dates are attached. They're, they're already on the school calendar and online. Grade 3 inclusion. Um, Peter, you can chime in any time. Um, we have had some increase in, in the inclusion numbers. Um, I am requesting that we split that group into two. Uh, initially, and if you should have your updated numbers in front of you, look at grade three initially Peter attempted to have the second inclusion group placed in Lincoln Avenue with smaller class numbers but he would have needed a, a few parents to volunteer to move from Sunrise to Lincoln he called all of the, the parents and rejected that proposal so we're keeping two sections at Sunrise Drive however what I am going to do any July or August entry or through the, the school year in the third grade that's in Sunrise Drive area I will be sending to Lincoln Avenue we need to leave some space in case, in case any more students become eligible for inclusion. So I would not add any students uh, to Sunrise Drive in the third grade unless it's done through the CSA. Um, I noticed in the Sunrise Drive came This isn't set in stone. Uh, actually, there might be one less there. One um, less? But I'm trying to balance. Okay. I haven't done the balancing. That won't be done until the end of July. So Which area? it averages 20 per eight sections. Yeah. So I would probably be all right with 22 at sunrise, uh, 21 at sunrise and uh, an average of 21 at Lincoln Avenue. And the, the, make the Cherry the Avenue a little larger. Only two, two sections. Class, two sections. Yep. That There's only 160 Whoa, that's students. Total 167 students in the kindergarten. It's a big drive. That's uh, 14 less than anticipated, although we have the whole summer to go. Might change. Uh, yeah, when you graduate a class of 280 and your incoming class is 167, that's quite a drastic drop. Yeah. High school's down. High school's down, the middle school is down, and so the elementary school. Well, the years, the high school is about 250. Generally about 250. Yeah. 250 is about an average. Yeah, the, the small class at the high school is actually the senior class. Yeah. Two sections. So, uh, do I have a boy's blessing for that second section? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you. That's why we really need the meeting July 26th. The curriculum grants are uh, attached. Dr. Stimmel worked hard to get uh, grants in the area mostly of Common Core Math, but also Common Core uh, Language Arts. As well as uh, an enrichment program. So there's a lot of curriculum writing going on. You'll see it later in the uh, approval of personnel, the actual writing of the curriculum. Uh, so there's a lot of good curriculum writing that's going to go on in summer. update on the middle school roof. Yes, we're, uh, we're happy to report that we are uh, in full swing on the roof replacement. If you've had an opportunity to pass the middle school, you'll see that we have um, quite a bit of material already on the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, we have quite a bit of material that's stored in the parking areas. We actually started um, asbestos abatement and uh, roofing on Sunday evening. Sunday evening we started with the some asbestos pavement. Monday morning they actually started with replacing sections of the roof. Um, they were able to work um, over Monday and Tuesday. Unfortunately we were rained out uh, today, but uh, they already got a very large section half done. Um, as the board recalls, the roof is coming down to the deck and um, we have everything in place and we're hoping that the weather on our side will be able to complete that roof prior to the start of school. So far the decking's looking good, it hasn't been any... Yeah, the, 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 areas, the areas that we identified bad decking is around the, the pool area. Mm -hmm. We've already done that in what's called pool test, uh, where we're able to determine the, um, the density of the, of the deck material. So we do have um, probably around 3,800 square feet of decking that will be replaced will be replacing it with galvanized decking. Uh, and we did make a provision in the contract uh, for that to be replaced. So um, as far as the, the scheduling goes, we do have uh, very few activities happening in the building now. Uh, the pool program, is the, the summer program, is still continuing. And when we get around to mid-August, um, we will be by the pool area that program will be done. So um, the coordination of programs uh, has been handled as well. I have on here uh, Refit also uh, we have uh, an invitation to join Refit. Um, I believe it's in the mail someplace. Mail someplace. And yeah, we used to be I believe we used to be members of Refit, um, so I, you know, the board can have a discussion later on. It's a bit of a lot of money. Six hundred dollars. Now, Refit. I don't know if everyone knows the uh, why Refit was formed. It was formed to advocate for low to low middle wealth school districts. You have to be a combined wealth ratio of less than 1.5 to join, uh, which we fit into that category. We're about one, I don't know what the latest is. We're actually, this year we're actually just under. Just under one, yes. okay, so 0.9 something. We expect us to get more money then. Oh. So, um, once you're under one, you're considered a low wealth district. So, and they advocate for low to middle, uh, low middle wealth districts. Why did they stop being a low middle? We've been above one five. I don't. Oh, that was it. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think no. we've ever been above 
one. Well, one point oh five. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's one five. One point oh five. It's one five for the oh one five. It's a word that's certainly worthwhile organization. They do a tremendous amount of advocacy. Yeah. Okay, so I should uh, go forward with the membership. We have consensus on that. No. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll be back to the GEA stuff before you yeah. have yeah. I still see the long signs on the most dedicated. Uh, There's still some. I, 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 I don't want anybody to forget it except. Saving until next year. Yeah, it's taken away because they become used to seeing it. We still have uh, 1.7 million left. <laughs> it's over a two year period, so. Yeah, we'll see. And the government's man up for it. Yeah. yeah. Lastly, uh, update on finance manager. Uh, yes, uh, that's a, a project that the business office was engaged in, and converting the software, financial software, actually, is, uh, the attendant software and the human resource side over to finance manager this year. Uh, we're happy to say that we're probably about 75% uh, done with the uh, conversion. We're up and running in the area of payroll, and our first payroll on July 10th will be run in Finance Manager. Um, we're up and running in cutting purchase orders in Finance Manager as well, and we are, um, over the next couple of weeks, we're just going to be tweaking some uh, additional things and also completing some training uh, for the human resource department. Uh, as well as uh, going forward with uh, all of the budgeting and financing modules and finance managers. So it was uh, quite an uh, incredible project. And uh, as soon as we get a little uh, settled in, we'll be able to bring the board some reports uh, because things will look very differently from what they had in the past. So uh, before we get into budget time, I'd like the board to become familiar with some of the reports that we will have available. And, um, and of course, get your input on anything that you may like to see that finance manager can achieve. So with that we're uh, good news. Looking forward to it. <laughs> the one thing, Tom, that we're, we're, we we can't guarantee is history. One of, one of the uh, one of the challenges that we have with moving to finance manager is that we can get some histories in total summary total but we cannot maintain the detail time moves so fast. So we're pretty, so we're basically working with Nassau Bosis to see what we can do and how we're going to preserve the financial histories that are currently on ventilation. You want to take yes, a, like a pause? I'm gonna pause for a minute here and uh, okay. keep it square, keep in. Oh, ten. Then we have to make a motion. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like she was just raising her right hand. I can hold you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the trustee of the Board of Education of Sable Public Schools according to the best of my ability. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I apologize for the okay. delay. You don't know how many committees we are so many too. Okay, that ends my report. Thank you. Next item we have tonight is uh, Board of Education discussion. We have uh, one item, uh, recycling program. You want to hold off? person in this program, I recommend that we just uh, table until, uh, table until uh, our next meeting in August. Are okay with that? Yeah. Okay, any other items for board discussion? Um, yeah, I want to bring up one thing. Uh, we
we're meeting with the architect on a weekly basis and the engineers. Um, we're hoping over the next six months to have a design on that and up to SCD. Um, I was out there the other day working on the uh, memorial site thinking, you know, is there a way, since we're going to be utilizing the parking lot by the train station and such, if we could utilize the corner maybe as an entrance to the, to the uh, soccer field, incorporating the Memorial Park into the, uh, the normal site. The entrance, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, as, as a walk, sure. Yeah. That's something we could certainly yeah. yeah, absolutely. And also, the field was dedicated back to the <coughs> site. They, no, they actually reached out to me. And some, like when I did the, re, the big re refurbish uh, last year, they they, they uh, very good. Yes, I graduated. Thank you. Any other items for board discussion? We are actually ahead of schedule. <laughs> I could talk for 15 minutes, but. Oh, I actually have. This is a quick one. Um, it's it's worth it's worth noting. Um, so I was swimming this morning in 5 a.m. and I stopped and a cockroach ran up my arm. At the pool? Yeah. Oh. So if we could get some pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's gross. It's amazing. It never had to happen. Yeah. And yeah. I asked one of the coaches, and they said they, they, they've seen. I don't know if they're just doing some of the roof and oh, all the stuff. Oh, yeah, roof. Oh, Maybe just yeah. stirred yeah. something, so and they're. They said the last couple of days they've been Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So I figured I'd just bring it up. Nice something that we could easily solve. Yeah. Yeah. Right on my arm and right there. <laughs> Did you get him? I jumped up one underwater, and I think it was full. You're laughing. You're laughing. You have something on your tennis that we didn't know. I guess for the All right, that's thank you. Thanks, Thank you. I thought I'd have so much in my life. He was swimming. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, again, I think it's, it has to do with the moving things around and things are being disturbed, and there's been a I'm sure of so, just so we know. Like do, yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff. Okay. That's all for board discussion. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the answer. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Right. We will now open it up to a public uh, session. If you have a comment, please. Uh, Stand, state your name, and just try to keep it at uh, three to five minutes. Anybody? I see shaking heads now. Thank you all for coming tonight. Anyway, uh, we're going to move right along. We're going to go to recommend an action, approval of minutes of June 11th. I need a motion, please. Debbie and Norm. Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Motion carried. We're going to call. Five, one through five twenty-three. I need a motion, please. A motion. Second. Second. Debbie. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? Opposed. Motion carried. We're going to call six two and six three. We're going to call six one seven. Second. You're on six one. Yeah. So six, you're on six one right there. Okay, I think it is, yes. Okay, that's what we're voting. Six, no, we're doing six two and six three. Okay. Okay. Six two and six three, yeah. Do a lot more. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
motion. Discussion. Motion carried. Uh, I'm going to call six one now. A motion, please. Motion. Second. Discussion. Uh, you want me to just pull that one out? Pull that one out. Okay, I want to pull out. I'm sorry. Okay. It was uh, under call 4882 separately on 6 1. All right, we're going to do everyone but 4882 on that motion. Those in favor? Opposed? Okay, we're going to call 4882 separately. Motion on that one. Motion. All those in favor? Abstentions? Seven one and seven two, please. Motion. 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 I don't have to. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a second. Seven five. Sorry, seven sorry. I'll get there. It's, it's, it's seven one through seven five. Motion. Second. Discussion. Those in favor? Opposed. Motion carried. I need a motion to uh, join the executive session to talk to uh, take the personnel. Motion. Second. Second. Okay, we're going to be in the executive session. Thank you all for coming. Have a great summer. <coughs> See you in July.